Good morning again. Same day, new tutorial. I'm going to do another one by request, which I mentioned in a couple of the other videos. It's the Facebook Connect module um, inside Dolphin. So first we're going to go from our dashboard here, our admin dashboard. We're going to choose uh, Tools, Modules. And we're going to install the Facebook module. So let's scroll down here to get to Facebook. Connect. Select it. And come down to do, 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 install button and click install. Pretty simple. But now we need to go up here to Facebook modules. And I know this looks strange, but the next time your uh, language file is compiled, it will change this to the normal uh, Facebook Connect name. So for now, just click on that one. Now this one here is going to bring you to a whole new uh, page. If your uh, Facebook account is not verified, it'll bring you to a, a page saying you have to verify your account. You can use a credit card or your mobile phone. I used my mobile phone. So we're going to call this one uh, Dolphin 7 Test. And it's easier to get the URL from over here. That's the site URL goes in here. So if you have yours in a, a, a subdirectory, you would add the subdirectory on the end here. I use mine in the root of this subdomain. So create the application. Okay. Now it asks us to do these crazy uh, words. Cranked consulting. here we have our secret and our app ID so let's take the app ID and go back here and here's your app ID here and just paste it in there and your secret code copy from here and you click in here and you click save doesn't get much easier than that on the dolphin side but over on the uh, application side Okay, just click on, uh, after you create the application, you get this page with your app ID and secret, click on your developer dashboard, and it's going to ask for uh, the developer part of uh, Facebook to give access to your account, tell it you want to by clicking allow, and it will bring you back to your dashboard where you can check out your application. So, you click on the application. Uh, or application name that you just created somewhere and you want to edit the application settings okay and here you get a deep brief, brief description of your site you can change its icon which shows up for the users that join it there are two URLs here that you have to get from your Facebook or from your uh, uh, dolphin site so go to the home page over here and we'll do it the easiest way possible. We will get uh, to get the links from down here. I can't show you that because it doesn't bring the page all the way up. But down here on the to power by Bluenix is your terms link. So let's take this one here. Uh, you'll notice this is all set with dolphins crap inside it. I'll show you in another tutorial how to change that. Oh, it's pretty easy. There's your terms of service URL. And do, 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 privacy link here. On the bottom of the page again, you click on the privacy link. And copy and paste it over into your application. And I have both of those. Okay. Uh, do, do, do. You can also change the URL. So fill in your description, add a logo, which is a small logo people will see, and the larger logo um, that would represent your site. Okay, so let's just click save on that. Click save changes. Okay, now I'm going to go back and edit the settings again. Okay, and set the 
website. Your site domain, we want to change it to just the domain name, which is here. Do, 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 do. Copy and paste that down here. Okay. And save that. Do, do, do. Now let's go back to edit settings again and click on Facebook integration. You can give this the same as your site URL. Or your site name. You now I would use Dolphin Test. For instance, your Canvas URL can be the home page uh, for your website, uh, www.yourdomain.com, what have you. And that uh, concludes most of the setup. It should be able to work perfectly now. Um, if it doesn't, because I'm not going to test it on my side, if it doesn't, somebody give me a message and I will uh, follow through on a second tutorial. Okay, enjoy.